What class is this called? <laughs> History of photography. Okay. I'm Ellen Stern, and I'm a professor of photography at Lynn University, and this is my history of photography class. And we decided together to make a camera obscura. So a camera obscura is a light type box with a tiny hole on one side um, that projects an image from the opposite wall upside down and backwards. Even Leonardo da Vinci used the camera obscura. As early as the 5th century BC, a Chinese philosopher named Moti used the camera obscura. Now we're making the new lenses to put onto the camera obscura, and we'll be able to put them on as we go. This is the lens of the camera obscura we're making. Okay, she's the last song. Okay, everybody, everybody crouch down. David, I think you're okay over there. The oh, oh, the the door. Door. oh, yeah, you can see the trees. You guys, the lights <laughs> are <laughs> Yeah, you can see something right there. What? You got a little Dude, there's so much other light coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and there's a hole in the ceiling. Oh, those are colors. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Colors, wow, oh, cool. Oh, that is the top of the Wow, yay. So our camera obscura kind of worked. It took us like two days to cut out over the garbage bags and we even put them on the windows and checked if any light was leaking through. So a hole in the ceiling, the around the door, there was a lot of light coming through. We would need heavy, heavy, heavy duty bags that did not let any light in. And we also needed a really, really bright day, which we did not have. And then we would have had a really spectacular color image that was upside down and backwards. It wasn't that sunny, so... You really have to do it on a sunny day. Definitely. And your eyes have to adjust. <laughs> we stayed there for like five minutes, right? Yeah. And we couldn't see anything, so... The camera obscura was semi-successful, and what we were able to see once the light came into the room was cars going both north and south, we also saw a flagpole, and we were also able to see the silhouette of the top of the trees that were across the street. Woo! Okay, go. What am I, sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there. All right, get ready. That's a good circle, that's perfect. When you say that's a perfect circle? Yeah. Okay, one more time. Can Everybody? you move back a little bit? Just a little? All right? Okay. All right. You should own a circle cutting business. No, I'd hire really you. Okay, great. One more time. Thank you. You are such a good circle cutter. It's yeah, I know. Crazy. Yeah,